Are we tired of all this Cat Williams business? I'm not. I mean, I was asking, are y'all? I'm not. And the reason, the, the, the reason for that for me is because a lot of what, you know, all of the things that Cat Williams has been saying, you know, all of the shots he's been firing, it's all... Hollywood is adjacent to the music industry. So it's like, all of the things that he's saying about Hollywood, I believe are true about the music industry. So I'm just like, I'm interested. I'm like, let him cook. Let the man cook. And I want to see what Hollywood has to say about all of this. Not just, I mean, Hollywood... Damn Hollywood, I want to see what the people who claim he's slandering them have to say. And I might as well came in here and didn't say nothing. I might as well, I might have just came in here and just gave y'all, uh, and just said my ABCs or just, or just, because that's what they doing. Nothing. Like, these niggas are. They are, uh. I don't know if you want to call it taking the high road or whatever, but these dudes are very, very deflective. Excuse me, where my man is. Welcome to Monster Nation. <clears throat> Welcome to the nation. I'm your host, Mr. Monster Man Rocco. I'm the president here. I'm the, the, the tour guide. I'm the landlord, the tenant, the janitor. I mop the damn floor. Salute to uh, the good folks over at Fortune Over Fortune Over Fame for this generational wealth jacket, varsity jacket. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. I ain't gonna get up and all of that. I ain't gonna do all that right now. I ain't got no pants on underneath. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I got clothes on. I ain't gonna get up though. But um, <clears throat> back to the topic. Steve Harvey finally said something. What I was hearing, you know, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of people talk about. Listen, he ain't gonna when you when you up this high. You don't, you know what I'm saying? When you, you reach a certain level of maturity or a certain level of success, then you don't respond to nobody down there. Well, then why he respond at all then? Hmm? Why anybody respond at all? Like, he wasn't, he, everybody that he shot at, who shot at ain't necessarily higher than him. I'm like, I don't know none of that net worth I, I <laughs> that's not where i'm taking my research right but but like somebody like michael blackson like somebody like earthquake i don't think that they're more successful than him i'm pretty sure like right correct me if i'm wrong side note i was watching an episode of wild and out or a clip from wild and out because i watch a lot of wild and out and the candace salute to you know, all of the, the good folks over there, you know, if they're bad folks over there, then not y'all, but the good folks over there. Um, and I seen they was doing like a, a plead the fifth skit, you know, they playing the, the plead the fifth game where they try to make a nigga say something or, or you know, they, they try to get you to either say something real embarrassing or plead the fifth. And... I watched all of the cast members. Cat Williams was in the chair. This wasn't when he. This wasn't when he was a cast member. This is when he came back as a, you know, Super Cat Williams, right? Salute to Super Cat. Um, and he was in the chair. He was he was on the stand, and I think Hitman came out, asked him a question. Somebody else came out, asked him a question, and Cat Williams was very playful with them. You know, he laughing and whatnot. You know. But Michael Blackson came out there 
And he tried to get Cat Williams to plead the fifth. And Cat was extreme. <laughs> he, he, was extreme. he was different. I'm going to just say this. And I saw this like yesterday, right? It seemed like Cat Williams didn't like Michael Blackson back then. I'm just saying what it looked like, right? Like he was not laughing and joking with Michael Blackson. No, he was very, he, he, he was different. He was different. If y'all could find that, ep I dare y'all to find that episode and check it out. You understand what I'm saying? Like it was very different. So, you know, son probably been, a, I see something like that. I feel like, you know, like, and then Son ain't never been one to bite his tongue. He always been on his, you know what I mean? Say whatever he want to say about whoever he want to say it about. I mean, like, I guess, you know, it just is what it is. But what y'all going to do? I'm, and I don't even, not even what y'all going to do. I know what y'all going to do. Y'all going to do what y'all been doing. Like, I and mean, when I say y'all, I mean the people that he, that, that he, that he shot at. Right? Y'all just going do damage control like y'all get on and y'all and, and y'all want to call them names or 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 paint them as a hater or or paint them or, or spin the narrative however y'all want to do it. But only a few of y'all are actually denying what he's saying or calling him a calling him a bold faced liar and. You know that I feel like that's what's going to continue to happen. Like anybody who like Ice Cube came out like, whoa, whoa, he might have been mistaken on blah 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 blah, and those ain't his words, but he just he just corrected things that Cat was already in the ballpark of. Like Ricky Smiley, he really did audition for Money Mike, right? He really did do that, but he didn't. You know what I'm saying? It was just it was some discrepancies in the story, but he was still in the ballpark, right? But a uh, uh, Steve Harvey, um, Kevin Hart, you know, uh, yeah, a lot of them, they not really, they not saying much. They saying something, they lips is moving, pause, but they ain't saying nothing. You know what I mean? And uh, that that just is what it is. Kevin Hart and them cracked some jokes on them. And, 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 you know, some people say, like, Kevin Hart funny as fuck to me. You see what I'm saying? Like, his jokes where he... Like, I seen Kevin Hart go on wild and out and smoke the whole cast. Three, four times. You understand what I'm saying? So, I also seen Kevin Hart... I don't know if it was Kelly Clarkson or somebody who was on the, on, on the show that he used to do. I think it was called Heart to Heart. And... I think it was Kelly Clark. It was a white female singer. And she was on there, you know, good old, old American sweetheart type of chick, right? But she was just, she was kind of gully. She was, you know, she talking to son and she like, I done seen shit in the blah, blah, blah. Kevin Hart was like, Shh. stuff like that, B. Like, now granted, media, <laughs> media training is, let me shoot him a little bell right quick. Media training is important. Like, you don't want to get on TV burning your bridges and all of that. That don't, you know what I'm saying? That that could be this big or that could be this big. We don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? I've been in offices with Jimmy Iovine, you know, before I was getting ready to sign to, uh, uh, you know, an extension of his company. And he ain't never come at me with nothing crazy. But I, I think, personally, you can ask people you can find out a lot about a person without ever asking them direct questions you could ask a person questions about this and the way they answer this can tell you all you need to know about them and you know i i'm sure i was i'm sure i wasn't a a, a great candidate for for for, <laughs> for the illuminati or, or or whatever i'm just saying i'm out listen i'm gonna be staying on this you understand what i'm saying because like because you know simultaneously like Puffy took strays in this. You know what I mean? Son is going through all the way he going through. Right now, it's 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 a whole bunch of him against everybody is going on right now in the game. You understand what I'm saying? And you know, like I've always felt that the game was foul. I just never made enough money in the game to actually fight the game. 
You understand what I'm saying? Like, so I had to digress. You know what I mean? I, I like, you know, it's hard. Certain, I, I can't go in certain rooms and do certain things. You understand what I'm saying? If I could, it would be, you know what I'm saying? It would. I feel like I, um, yeah, never mind that. The facts is the facts, and it is what it is. And, um, if you made it to the end of this video, let me get four sets of eyeballs, because I'm watching. And, and we all watching. I'm watching, I'm waiting to, to, to see what, 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 if anybody going to say anything, any anything that is, you know, really negates this shit Cat Williams say. You know what I mean? They ain't calling him a liar. They telling him he angry. They ain't calling, they ain't calling him a liar. They're call, they calling him a hater. I will say this. Corey Holcomb says something very interesting about Cat. And, and, and it, it, it kind of checks out. It feels on brand. You know, a lot of people have been speaking about how generous Cat Williams is. You know, a lot of been telling people been telling stories about how he's the nicest dude in the world. Corey Holcomb is like, Cat Williams is two people. Son is two niggas. One of them is that nice guy, and the other guy is basically the Joker from Batman. And when he said that, I laughed. But it's kind of on brand. It it it, it kind of checks out. It does. I don't mean no disrespect about it. Joker's one of the dopest villains in the world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, any nigga that can laugh when he, when, when, while he, you know what I'm saying? While he doing all that kind of filth. I mean, like, you know, it's, that, that's, that's a great villain. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that was, that was an analogy that, that, that Corey Holcomb made, made. Salute to him and salute to Cat and salute to everybody. I mean, like, you know, um, I'm out. Um. If you if if you made it to the end of this video, like I said, four sets of eyeballs. I'm out. Rock on, rock. Go on.